Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, and showing you guys um, the GVP Impact Series 2 A500 HD Plus external hard drive for the Amiga 500 computers. Okay. Um, this is uh, GVP's external hard drive uh, for the Amiga 500 computers. It is the A500 HD Plus. Um, it's part of their Impact Series 2. Um, it has a SCSI 2 DMA controller, uh, four 30 pin SIMs, so you can add two, four, or eight megabytes of fast memory to the Amiga 500. Um, you can use either one or four megabyte uh, SIMs, you know, standard 30 pin SIMs. There is a mini expansion slot for the optional PC emulator card, which is also uh, produced by GVP, and it's called the um, the GVP PC 286. It's like a 286 PC emulator. It's hardware uh, that goes that, that plugs into this mini expansion um, slot. So yeah, that's the hard drive, the A500 HD Plus, along with the power supply. So. Let's take a look inside this hard drive. Okay, so I'm back. We're going to take a look inside of this Impact Series 2 A500 HD Plus by GVP. Um, this is the power supply that you can get for it. You know, it's got a separate like on and off switch here. It takes a normal um, AC plug, you know, and then this end here. Some of them, okay, some of these ends, they're five pinned in like this one, and others are four pinned in, or four, you know, four pin, well, den, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a five pin den. It just depends on what connectors they have, I guess, you know. But anyway, that's, uh, the power supply, in case you want to read the what's on the label as far as voltages and amperage and, and things like that. That's the power supply for it. All right. Okay, so let's look inside this. Um, we're going to look inside this. Okay, so I think what I want to do, actually my workbench is not that uh, rough. So, Okay. The screws that you want to take out are these three here. This one. And this is a number two Phillips screwdriver. And since these are self tapping screws, uh, try to put them back in the exact same hole that they came out of. Okay. Alrighty. So it should come apart now. Uh oh. <laughs> anyway. So I'll make sure you guys can see, you know, what I'm doing. Anyway, okay. And this should just lift up like that. Now normally, this switch here would be plugged in. I believe it plugs in here. And then this fan would be plugged in. There's a place here that you plug in the fan. Um, but I didn't do it yet. I mean, I knew I was going to be taking this back apart. So Now I put Kapton tape here. To hold this in place so it wouldn't move around. Um, anyway, since I'm going to you know, take this apart, 
to allow you to see what's inside. I think I need to, well, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Uh, anyway, that's the, the hard drive itself. Okay, and this one I think is 105. Yeah, it's a 105S um, hard drive. And this right here is the mini expansion for the 286 uh, board that plugs in, the emulator board that, pl the, that plugs in. Okay, so I think what I want to do, remove this capped on tape. Okay, I can always put more on later. Yeah, I can always put more on later. And this is like the metal cover that goes over your four 30-pin expansions uh, slots here for your memory. And it has like paperwork on top that shows you, you know, your different memory configurations. Okay, and there's the... You know, they're like at an angle, the SIMs, four SIM slots. And like I said before, they take uh, standard 30-pin SIMs. All right, which I don't have any plugged in right, right now. All right, so what I need to do, I think, just unhook the power, you know, like that. All right. Now these are just machines, so you don't have to worry about putting them in the exact same hole that they came out of. They're machine threads, they're precision. Okay, so this should come off of here now, I think. It should come off. Oh, it's actually, is it like part of the, the metal part on there? I guess you have to take this these out too. Where you're watching this, you're watching me do this, you know, I mean, you're learning as I do. So I'm not, okay, what is going on here with this? Wow. <laughs> what is going on here with this? Oh, okay, it just sits on like that. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, it was scaring me there for a minute. Yeah, it, it was scaring me. Like, what the heck? I don't really like pulling it like that because it can bend the pins. Let me make sure I didn't bend the pins. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Anyway, that's the... Um, the hard drive with the bracket. Okay, and then I'll show you the underside of the bracket. Okay, that's the underside of the bracket. It looks like it's got standoffs. Okay. Alrighty. And, um, okay, well, looks like it has a new revision ROM. That's nice. Okay. 
and only two, actually, what, one, two, three, four, five capacitors I got to replace when I recap this. Um, okay. Well, actually, I want to show you the whole board, so I think what I'm going to do, go ahead and remove this. Now, these I want to keep separate because, well, they're a little bit shorter anyway, so, okay. But, yeah, I was very surprised to find out that there are no videos, I mean, really good videos on the Internet or, or on YouTube about the hard drives that were available or are available for the Amiga 500 computer. So I thought, well, okay, when I get these in, I'll go ahead and do videos about these hard drives, you know, to take, I mean, you know, I'll tell you about them, and I take them apart and show you what's inside, but that's the inside of this GVP hard drive. Okay, this chip here, I think, is a proprietary chip. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about the GVP hard drive, to be honest with you, is the fact that it's got, let me get my pointer, I don't like touching the board with my fingers, but it's got this proprietary chip right here, and it's surface mount. If that chip ever goes bad, you basically have a GVP doorstop, you know. Whereas uh, with my favorite external hard drive for the Amiga 500, uh, the ones made by Supra, um, everything on the board is basically discrete through hole components. So it's easily repairable. And instead of SIMS, it actually accepts your dips, your, your memory chips uh, in 20-pin uh, dip format. And so I actually prefer that. But what I'm planning on doing with this is I'm going to be recapping it. Um, re replacing these five capacitors. And uh, I'll be, you know, putting in a full, I think you can put up to four megabytes of memory on this, if I remember correctly. So I'll install four one megabyte SIMs, and this will have the full four megabytes. And uh, I'll recap the power supply. And I think this would be a nice hard drive then, you know, after doing that. I think it would be a very nice hard drive. Um, this right here is the external 25 pin SCSI port that you can use to plug in other uh, SCSI devices. A good device to plug in here is like an external SCSI zip drive. That would be a perfect thing to plug into there. And this is where you plug in the external um, power supply. Plugs into there. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'll show you the case a little bit better. Like I said, it's got um, a fan right here for cooling, and it's got a switch. And what this switch does, the, the switch right here, it disables the hard drive to allow you to boot like from the the disk drive, like you know, copy protected games and stuff like that. That's why it's called the game switch because if you look on here on the front. Um, it says game switch, so you can actually turn the hard drive off, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's the, um, you know, the case. I just want to make sure you see it. A nice thing about this GVP hard drive is that the con, I mean, the case design, it matches the shape and the look and the contour of the Amiga 500 computer so that when you plug it into the Amiga 500 it continues that shape of the Amiga 500 and that's the one thing I do like about this GVP hard drive 
um, if GVP would have used all standard through hole components and not resort to that one, I mean, putting all the discrete components into that one surface mount chip like they did, I would have actually liked the, this GVP hard drive because I like the way it looks, but I don't like the way it's designed. Okay, I actually prefer the super hard drive because it's all discrete components. It has a metal case. I mean, it's just very nicely made. And the other thing, the, the other negative thing that I have to say about this um, GVP hard drive is that it doesn't have a pass-through, whereas the super hard drive has a pass-through, which is very nice. You know, I, I do like that. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you this external hard drive for the Amiga 500. Um, my name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time.